Morning, everyone. You're out there. Um, Ivan here from Classroom Secrets. Hope you're all well. Um, apologies in advance if I'm a bit sniffly today. I get quite severe hay fever, so it's been playing up on me for the last few days, but hopefully I'll keep that to minimum today. So today I've got a quick activity that's linked to the year five objective of um, measuring, well, identifying and measuring angles around the point. And again, even though it's a year five objective, um, you can try this with young, younger or older children. It is good practice. We will be using a protractor today. So I know, I know personally, I've not touched the protractor since lockdown started. So, you know, yesterday or today was the first time I picked up a protractor. So with lockdown being the effect and everything, it is good practice to get used to using physical measuring tools again. Um, so what I'll do, I'll spin my camera around. And again, hopefully it's things you have around the house. You just need a, pa um, a pencil, some paper, um, a ruler to draw your straight lines, but you can use a protractor as well. Um, I've got two different types of protractors today as well, so I'll demonstrate how to use both as well. So if I just spin around really quickly, so you can see. So with it being focused on angles today, what I've done for now is just list all the types of angles we might come across, um, because these are the angles that children will need to identify later on. Now, what I've done is list all the angles and just draw an example for each one, just um, to quickly recap. So today we'll be looking at acute angles, which are angles that are less than 90 degrees, which may look something like this. So it might be like a capital L, that's just a bit shorter. We've got a right angle, which is just literally two straight lines, looks like an L, um, that, and that's equal to 90 degrees. An obtuse angle, which is more than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees, <clears throat> may look like that. A straight line, which is literally what it sounds like, is just a straight line, and that's 180 degrees. A, a reflex angle, which is more than 100, 180 degrees, but less than 360 degrees. So it may look something like this. And then we've got a fold turn, which is literally just one line because we made a fold turn. So I'll be 360 degrees. Now, what I'll do, I'll shift this across for now because we'll be using this. Um, you can you can keep this there. Like you can make one one yourself if your children struggle with, with identifying identifying each angle. What I'll do, I'll just shift this across for now, just to show you the activity. Now, the activity we've got today is it's quite a straightforward one to start with. We've got two two takes on this activity. One is use your first name or use any word, and we'll be using straight lines to create our words. And with using those words, we can measure the angles within the word. So my name's quite short, it's just four letters, so it's Ivan. And as you can see, I've done my capital I already. Um so next I'm just gonna so next I'm just gonna finish off my name and we're just gonna make sure that whatever name you have, just make sure you use straight line because we're measuring angles. If you use um cursive lines, so if your name so start with G for example, it's quite a curly letter and it won't work properly. So we'll have to shift that and make it into a you know, into a form of straight lines. In fact, if I show you it quickly just to show you. So if you have, if your name is George or Georgia, so shout out to George or Georgia if you're watching, um, and you've got a cursive letter, just change it into straight lines so that you can still take part in this activity because you will need straight lines to measure your angles. So I'll just shift that across for now. Right, let's just finish off my name. So I, V, A, so let's make sure that's all straight. So you, so what I'll do, I'll shift over to felt tip afterwards um, to make it a bit clearer on camera. Uh, for demonstrations of this, um, I'm just going to use pencil for now because you probably want to use pencil because felt tip can smudge um, and it can affect how legible some of the angles are. So for this one, I'll stick to pencil. Next one, I'll use felt tip. Okay, so now that we've got my name, it's all nice and straight, I can go ahead and use my protractors. Now, in schools, schools will tend to have protractors that look like this. So this will just go up to 180 degrees. And if you have any more, um, we'll just have to use our knowledge of um, a full turn to be able to add it on. So I'll show you how to use this in a second. You may also come across um, a 360 degrees protractor. And what I'll do, I'll start off with this one because this is probably the most common protractor you'll come across. And I'll switch over to this one to show you how. But for now, I'm just gonna use this one. So if I wanted to measure the degrees on my name, so I'm gonna start with I. In order to measure the, degree, the degrees accurately, what we need to do is line up the protractor so that the straight line at the bottom reads zero because we're going to be using this to count up. So if you have it slanted or if you don't have it lined up correctly, you'll get the wrong measurement. So it is very important that we use the um, straight lines as guidelines. So if I start with zero, I'm going to go up and as you can see, it ends on 90. So here, this one will be a right angle. That will be 90 degrees. In fact, I use a felt tip to make it easier for you, for you guys to see. 
There you go. Um, and I've also switched to A3 piece of paper because I know it's last week. It was A4 and it was quite hard to see on camera. So hopefully you can see a bit clearer to there. So now that I've measured this one, what I'm going to do is measure the angle on the left. And again, we're going to line up the bottom, bottom line so it's straight. And this time we'll be reading from the left-hand side because we're me measuring this angle on the left. We need to measure from the left-hand side. Some children may find it confusing because they'll start again from this side and just count on, so count over 90, so they must think that's 180. But because we're measuring this angle on the left, we have to start with a measurement on the left. So again, start with your zero. So again, we can see that's 90. So I'll do 90 there. Now, what's really good about this is because we're measuring angles on both sides, they can start to see the relationship between the angles on the straight line. So regardless of where this line would be, whatever two angles we have, or whatever angles we have on the straight line, it will always add up to 180 degrees, so they can see the relationship. And then once they've done that, they can measure this bottom angle here, so this one here. So again, if I just line it up really straight, you might want to switch your paper around or turn your paper around to make it easier for kids. So again, line up your straight line at the bottom, and this one will be actually 180 degrees. So this one will be a straight line. So these are two right angles. This is a straight line. And again, the relationship between the angles around the fall turn, because we know a fall turn is 360 degrees, 90 plus 90 plus 180, that would be 360 degrees. So it's a good conversational piece um, for children to bear in mind, and they can start to see that relationship. And what I'll do, I'll move on to the V, because this will not have right angles. It will have quite slightly different angles, so that'll be quite good to look at. So again, if I start and just slap my paper around, make sure that the zero is on that straight line. And then what we'll do is count, let's have a look. Right, there you go. So this is a straight line. Again, we're not starting from the left because we're counting the angle on the right. We're measuring the angle on the right and not the left. So we'll start from zero and that one is 45 degrees. So when I was saying about angles that go over 180, we'll have to use our knowledge of a full turn. So if we know that 360 degrees is how many angles you have in the full turn, we can deduct or subtract 45 from 360, and that will give us what was left over. So I'll just write it down really here really quickly, just to remember. So you can use this subtract. So this, this is another good conversation point for children. They can use this subtraction and addition knowledge to make sure the angles are correct, so double check their answers. So really quickly, what I should have now is 315 degrees for the rest of this angle on the V. So what I'll do, again, I'll line it up. And we can see that that's zero. And because we're measuring this angle on the outside now, we don't count this angle in the middle, which is 45. We have to count from this way. Now, on a 180 degrees protractor, it can be quite difficult. But what we can do is use knowledge that that will be a straight line. So this part here will be 180. And then we can count on in tens. <clears throat> so 180, 190, 200, 210, 220. 230, 240, 250, 200. So three quarters, turn, three quarters of a turn, that's always 270. You can add up, add on. 270, 280, 290, 300. 300 and 315, brilliant. So we've got our 315 degrees and we can double check our answer by, again, subtracting 345 from 360, should be 315, which it is. So that's the first activity, using your name. Um, again, if you have a longer name, it might be, 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 be a bit more difficult. But again, that's part of the challenge, so I suppose that's, that's quite good, that. And as we can see, this one is a, let's bring it back. So it's more than 180 degrees, but it's less than 360. So that's a reflex angle. And then this, this one is 45 degrees, which is less than 90 degrees. So this one is a acute angle. So again, just asking them every now and then, we'll, be, we'll just draw that in their minds, like, what is this angle? And eventually they'll get to the point where they can identify these different types of angles straight away without having to measure them, which is a good skill in itself. Now, in the description, I mentioned dragons. <laughs> so I have to deliver on that. So once you've done your activity based on your name, which is this is just like a starting point, it can be a bit more imaginative. So in a very Art Attack Blue Peter fashion, I've created a dragon from earlier on. So the concept of this will be the same. We're measuring the angles within the dragon. And if you want to add a bit more challenge, um, the parent or the you know, a friend can just say, oh, I want you to measure the eye or I want you to measure the tail. So again, adding that extra element of surprise. For this example, I'm going to be measuring the, let's go for my eye first. This time I'm going to be using a um, 360 degrees protractor just to show you the difference. 
So if I do the eye first, again, it may look a bit weird because you've got the whole circle now, but the concept will remain the same. Line up your zero here, so then this is the angle that we're measuring. So I can tell straight away that's going to be an acute angle because it's less than 90 degrees. So I'm going to line that up and this one will be, let's just line it up here, for right? That is, let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40 degrees. So the eye on the dragon will be 40 degrees. Now I'm going to measure a slightly trickier angle, one that goes over 180 degrees. Let's go for this one here, one bite its belly. So if I wanted to line this one up, what I'll do is line up the zero again here. And because we're measuring this outside angle, we're not going to start, we're not going to start from zero this way, um, anti-clockwise. We're going to go clockwise. So again, line it up to zero. Use this arrow tool to help you. Some protractors may have this, some protractors won't. Um, luckily this one does, so I'll be using this to help me. So again, use my knowledge of a straight line, that's 180 degrees. Keep going, keep going. And then this one will line up, oh, I've moved it then. Just be careful you line it up, up if you move it. Ah, it's quite tricky this one. But this one is about, oh, be a bit more specific on this one. This is about 280, 240, 245, 46, 40. that's about 247 degrees. So again, that one's slightly tricky because we're going into, um, you know, the ones column here and being a bit more specific. But then you can use your subtraction knowledge again. So 360 for a full turn, take away 247, that will give you answer. So yeah, that's just a quick little activity. Um, it's not just linked to <laughs> dragons. You can be a bit more, be a bit more creative with your, with your images, um, create pictures of houses or um, a person, um, up to you. Um, like I said, any ideas or any ideas you can think of that can further this learning, leave a comment on, underneath because it does help other people watching as well. Um, if you have used it, let us, let us know what you think, let us know what your children think, and hopefully you found that quite useful. Right, so there is another, another activity for you. I hope you found that useful. Um, if you spot any errors, because it is alive, um, I might not notice it straight away, do let me know, and hopefully I'll see you again next time. But let me know what you think about the activity. Hope your kids enjoy it. See you for now. Bye.